This is a major fraud in our nation. We want all voting to stop. Well, hello, patriots out there. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are during these crazy political times. Well, we're waiting to see who the president will be. Of course, as many of you know, I'm a big history fan and I love to understand the past so that I can see and envision the future. And this wonderful election has brought up some ideas. Anybody that's a, a history buff of the Catholic Church will remember the great Western schism. This meant that different groups within the Roman Catholic Church were putting forth their own pope that they insisted was the one legitimate one. Where there was two popes, actually for a while there was even three. Because of a great divide, they, uh, in their brilliance, decided, hey, let's have two popes. <laughs> Why not two presidents? Hey, it doesn't sound as crazy as you think if you hear me out. News of electoral fraud is multiplying despite the shameful attempts of the mainstream media to censor the truth of the facts in order to give their candidate the advantage. The first thing your glorious leader, Mr. Donald Trump, should do is he should... Sammy, I know you're excited, Sammy. I can hear her. <laughs> Trump needs to call for all conservative patriots to take over the entire National Mall and surround and protect the White House. Because I know for a fact, Donald J ain't gonna be leaving the house anytime soon. So why not protect him? And let's see if they're willing to send in the troops to kill their own citizens and start a civil war. <laughs> let's see if Sleepy Joe's got the cojones to actually start a civil war. I doubt it, I really doubt it. So. I think number one is protecting the Commander-in-Chief, get 10,000 Patriots to surround the White House and protect him, keep him safe. That's the first step. Step number two in this more perfect republic is to sign an executive order and just declare California, Oregon, and a few other your favorite liberal states to be independent republics. Californians are asking for a divorce tonight from the United States. Yeah, the effort to have the Golden State secede from the Union is back, this time with new leadership, a new slogan, and supporters hope new momentum. Say, with the exception of federal land and federal military bases, I now declare California an independent republic. Guess what? Those electoral college votes, they don't matter. No! New calculation. Trump's the boss. Yes, sir. That's all you need to do. I happen to believe that a president can grant a pardon to himself. And then tell all the uh, patriots living in California, if you want to hold on to your American citizenship, you got to leave California within 45 days or else. Happy Divorce Day. The campaign to make California its own country has chosen Valentine's Day to make a comeback. It almost makes no sense to stay. So many damn liberals keep yapping about California being independent and a few other places being independent. There's no clear constitutional way for succession. So let's just let them leave. Let's eliminate those electoral college votes. Bada bing, bada boom. President Trump, you got yourself another four more years. Failing that, Mr. Trump, sign an executive order that you are now the president for eight more years until a more perfect union can be derived and the uh, the new splintered union. Then there's the social divide. The CalExit movement is full of women, Latinos, undocumented immigrants, immigrants, LGBTQ people, and the reason is they're terrified of their government. Send a damn bill to every Californian after you make them independent so they can pay their share of the national debt that they rang up in their own name. Hell oh, yeah. It's like a divorce, folks. You gotta pay to play. I have the absolute right to pardon myself. I think it's important to realize that the great divide between the left and the right is so severe that it cannot continue. So the liberals can continue living in a liberal utopia of socialism and kumbaya and all that fun stuff. So just let them be. 
So this great Biden landslide didn't come because there's not much of a gap in the popular vote. A couple million votes, folks, which means there are millions of conservatives out there that actually care and don't want your country to go to hell in a handbasket. So, I say adios, California. We'll send you your share of the tax bill. Thank you. It's clear the president has complete and exclusive control to pass any executive law he wants and to pardon himself. He would be a fool not to ordain himself president. On the 2nd of December, 1804, Napoleon Bonaparte crowned himself Emperor of the French at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. On December 2nd, Trump should take a page out of history and follow Napoleon and crown himself president and save the future of the new republic. I call on all conservative patriots to protect the president, keep him alive, keep him safe, and prevent the liberal socialist scourge from happening. After all, the Founding Fathers were hoping for a more perfect union, and I think losing California and a few other liberal states will help America find and form that more perfect union. Does the President believe the framers envisioned a system where the President couldn't pardon himself, where the President could be above the law? Certainly the Constitution very clearly lays out the law. Voter fraud had occurred. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. Giuliani even arguing hypothetically the president could shoot James Comey and not be prosecuted, get away with murder. With the presidential executive power being so powerful and almost limitless, it would be foolish for President Trump to not use this power to save America and to make it greater than it ever has been again, even if it costs losing California and a few other little liberal enclaves. Why not? Make America great again, Mr. President. Please use whatever power that you have within you to save America. Special prosecutor, here we come, right? Have fun in the new Republic of California, and may God save the Commander-in-Chief. Over and out. We're all working 24-7 uh, to make sure that we protect ballot integrity. And this is all about uh, not just counting every vote, but counting every legal vote. And there is, of course, a difference there. Okay.